since the water inside the aquarium tank is kept in a closed container, where water doesn't get renewed as frequent as in nature, then to keep a healthy environment for your tank inhabitants, then you need to check the water composition. In order to be able to keep an eye on the water composition, then there are a few important water parameters to check. The first one is the pH, and in this video we will explain what is pH, how to alter the pH of the water, and how to test the pH levels. The pH is the power of hydrogen, which is mainly a scale to measure the water acidity or alkalinity. The scale starts with 0 and up to 14, where the neutral point is at the midpoint or the value 7. Moving down from 7 means that the water is becoming acidic, and moving up from 7 means that the water is becoming alkaline. Some fish like acidic water, others like alkaline water and most of the fish are okay to live in neutral water, and although most of the fish can live in different water conditions, but if you want to have happy fish, and if you want them to start breeding, then adjusting the water parameters to what they like most is recommended. The water might be fluctuating between the acidic and alkaline around the neutral midpoint, and as long as these fluctuations are not too high, then your fish will be safe and sound, but if the fluctuations become too high then the fish will be in danger, so keeping an eye on the pH levels is recommended, especially if you have an aquascape that contains a lot of gravel, sand and stones. Certain components if added to the tank will raise the pH levels, for example calcium-rich materials like limestone dissolves in the water and increases the pH, another example would be the crushed shells or corals which increases the pH level as well. If there is a lot of organic material in the tank, whether fish wastes, food remains or old melted plant leaves, then this will increase the pH level, while having healthy plants growth in planted tanks with CO2 will decrease the pH level. Adding driftwood to your tank, especially the ones that produces tannins into the water and causes the water to be brown in color, will decrease the pH level. If the water you are using in the tank is coming from a well, tap water, or even rain, then you will need to understand the pH of this water source, because the pH differs from one source to another. For example if you are using well water, then your well might be bringing water from a calcium-rich soil, and in such case the pH level will be high, while if you are using a reverse osmosis or O filter then probably your water will be neutral. Some people might use some substances to alter the pH levels, like baking soda or peat moss, but I don't prefer this method, and I do recommend that you use a product that is tested and well known to do what you need. There are several products out there in the market, I am not affiliated with any of these products, so let's take a look on some examples. Seachem has several products, for example Pond pH Buffer, which keeps the pH level between 7.2 and 8.2, it is also the neutral regulator which keeps the pH level neutral at 7, the acid regulator which keeps the pH level in the acidic range between 4.5 and 6.8, the alkaline regulator which keeps the pH level in the alkaline range between 7.1 and 7.6, it is also a couple of acidic and alkaline regulators targeting planted tanks, and some products that target specific fish, so if your tank contains discus fish then the discus buffer can be used which keeps pH between 5.8 and 6.8, while for goldfish the gold buffer which keeps the pH level between 7.2 and 7.8 can be used. API has also several products that you can use, for example the pH down, which lowers the pH, the pH up, which increases the pH, they also have a range of products that can adjust the pH level to a specific value, for example adjust the pH to 6.5, 7, 7.5 or 8.2. And of course you can find other products from other companies as well. To be able to test the pH level in the tank, then you can use a test kit, for example the API 5-in-1 test strips, or you can use something like litmus paper, which you can easily find in any local store, or even buy online from Amazon. Please like, subscribe, and ring the small bell for the notifications, and while you are here check out these other videos.